Hey guys, back for another episode. So today we're continuing the series on the DIY auto drying bucket. So even though it says that it's a temperature controller, I have a humidity controller. Well, hopefully it is. Hopefully that means humidity control there. So we got this in order to automate and control the humidity in the drying bucket. It's kind of our main component. Okay, so it looks just like the temperature controller I got before, but it says percent relative humidity, so I'm guessing it's okay. Let's see what it says. So yeah, DHC 100 plus is the model here. We have the power supply, so the mains is coming in here. And they do not make these diagrams convenient. Okay, so the load is over here. So I think the hot line will be the one towards the left that goes to seven. Let's see if the instructions are at all helpful. High sensitivity, fast response, and excellent coherence. Measuring range 0 to 99, resolution 1%. So how to set it up? I'm just guessing it's the same thing as the temperature controller. You just have a set point and a offset value. Menu, humidity set. So it's the same wiring diagrams. The red wire is positive, which is connect terminal 4. Okay, so they give you instructions on how the humidity sensor is hooked up, but it's already wired in. The character set. Okay, so I'm guessing the neutral line is the one on the right here. The one on the left going to seven is the hot line. And then it also splits off to two. So I got another outlet and a little uh, gang box to just mount it to just minimize electrocution all right so i got it wired up like i think it should go so um i don't have a grounded plug right now but you should probably use that and ground it to the socket right here uh but i have it with the black as being the hot and the blue as being the neutral. So we have uh, the hot line coming from the mains into the splitter. And then one is going into number seven. And one is going into number two. Then from one, we have the hot line going into our socket. We're using this top one. And then the neutral line going back to a splitter. To number one and then back to the mains so let me just plug this in to see if it works okay there you go well so just make quick clicking noise. on the previous one on the temperature one you hold the set this top button okay there you go so we have an f1 f2 just f1 and f2 See, what do those correspond to? F1 humidity set value, F2 difference value. 10 to 100, 1 to 50. So this is set to 50 as the default. So let's go ahead and set this up to 65. And then F2. Let's just start with a difference of 10 degrees. Reset key for three seconds to save. So set key for three seconds to enter. And of course it's reset everything because we didn't save in. One, two, three. Okay. 
Press both set key and up key for three seconds to enter administration menu. And that's where we can access all these other parameters like the alarm. So you have a delay so that, you know, you don't screw up your uh, humidifier or calibration value. Oh, okay, an F8 controller work mode. So I guess if you only have it plugged into one and three is still left bare, you can have either a humidifier or a dehumidifier and you can switch between the two. So I'm guessing we'll need to switch that since it's saying that it, it's working right now. So zero humidification, one dehumidification. So we want a one, right? Because we're just using a fan to pull out there to dehumidify. So we need to enter this expert menu. Was it up and set for three seconds? One, two, three. Oh, okay, that actually worked. I'm kind of surprised. Um, F8. Zero. I knew it. One. We want a one. And then to save it, we hold down reset for three seconds. Aha. And the out has gone out. What does that, what does that mean? Working mode indicator, symbol, triangle, status, always on, which it seems to be right now. Function under dehumidification mode, perfect. Before it wasn't on because it was indicating that we were under humidification. So let's get this put into the bucket. Um, I'm gonna detach the probe from the controller unit so that I can feed it through the wall of the bucket, have this on the inside, have this on the outside. All right guys, so it's basically completely set up. I drilled the hole through the side of the bucket roughly halfway up uh, and fed through the humidity probe. You can see that in here. I put a piece of um, hosing around it just to try to support it a bit more. It doesn't really work. It's flexible hosing, so I need something more rigid to go in here so it can like stick out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. So you can see this. Um, my friend has an aquarium and he gave me this. I think he said it's a filter for the water pump for an aquarium. But it has a bunch of activated charcoal on this side. And he was thinking maybe it would help with the smell, but I can't imagine it's going to work. Um, you know, there's too many ways for the air to basically bypass the charcoal. But we'll go ahead and just use this as our block and um, screen for the fan. And I want to do a quick trial. So again, I have my three branches of orange julius that I harvested yesterday. And I just put them in this wicker basket for now. So I'm just going to put this at the bottom here. Put the probe kind of next to the flower and seal it up. We're using a set point of 50 and a difference of 10 degrees. Took it about 10 minutes to drop from 60 to 51. We would expect that as soon as it hits 50, it's gonna turn off the exhaust fan and this lower light will go out as well. It's been hovering at 51 for the past 20 minutes or so. So it's been 30 since I, or since it's kicked in the fan. And uh, we might have reached some limit with the amount of flower, the amount of moisture it currently has, and the volume of this chamber and it being sealed up. Uh, maybe we won't be able to get below this until it's actually drier. So I'll give it a little bit more time. Otherwise, we might just have to raise our set point to a higher value, which kind of makes sense because we want to be between 55 and 65 anyway. So yeah, we'll see. Currently, I'm just testing the capabilities. You know, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve here. What the ideal set point and differential... Oh, speak of the devil. So it just turned off for a second. You can see it's going between the two. So it's, you know, 50.5 or whatever. But that was enough for it to trigger the set point. 
You can see the light went out, and I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan has turned off. So now what will happen is it will rise up again to 60, and the process will repeat over and over. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this DIY build. I'm really kind of excited about this project. So if you have any ideas, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep on growing.